Now, Wave 31 Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Tanner Knust with 31 Triple Doppler. Well, it's not just the heavy rain that's a concern tonight, but also some very dense fog in parts of North Alabama. Take a look at our Skycam in Muscle Shoals this evening. You can hardly tell, but Muscle Shoals is behind all of that fog, but uh, visibility currently around a quarter mile there. Up here in Montesano, it is very, very foggy this evening, likely to stay that way throughout the night tonight. Uh, so again, a couple of hazards to keep in mind uh, for those hitting the roads this evening. Uh, as far as rain totals go, we are up to near two inches in Muscle Shoals, an inch and a half in Decatur, and just shy of that in Huntsville, just over an inch so far in Scottsboro and Fayetteville. And we are just getting started. There is a lot more wet weather to come over the next few Few days and we are not alone. It's a very wet pattern, very stagnant pattern as well. We have this nearly stationary front to our west and that's helping to trigger these widespread showers and storms from Texas all the way through Alabama and into the Appalachians uh, all the way up even to the northeast U.S. They're dealing with that this evening here in North Alabama. Some of us caught a bit of a break earlier this evening, but we are back at it as the rain is streaming in from the south and more or less uh, that rain is expected to stick around most of the night tonight. Now, despite this wet weather and uh, kind of a sign that something is unusual with the conditions is the fact that we continue to warm up this evening. It is 60 in Huntsville in Decatur. That is as warm as it has been all day long today. Fort Payne is at 63 degrees right now, and it is not going to cool down anymore tonight. If anything, it may warm another degree or two overnight tonight. So you are going to wake up to low 60s tomorrow morning, and our highs tomorrow will be around the mid and upper 60s, our warmest day we have had in quite some time. But again, it's not going to be a perfect day to be outside due to the conditions continued chances for wet weather that we're expecting most of the day tomorrow. Here's future radar again, widespread rain, perhaps occasional thunder mixed in with that overnight tonight. We'll pause it at 6 a.m. tomorrow and we have heavy downpours expected across most of North Alabama at that time. That threat will continue much of tomorrow morning, so plan on it being a tough go on the roads tomorrow. If you come across flooded roadways, please find a different route. Uh, turn around, don't drown is what we always preach and that is going to be something to keep in mind tomorrow morning as well. Tomorrow afternoon, we should start to see things quiet down gradually from the west to the east. And by Thursday night, it is going to be much quieter with nothing more than isolated showers expected to linger at that point. But between now and then, we have plenty more rain coming our way. Upwards of three more inches of rain possible around Sand Mountain. Farther northwest, not nearly as much more, but still, you've already had two inches of rain in Muscle Shoals. You could get an additional inch there and perhaps up to two inches more of rain between now and tomorrow night in Huntsville. So the flood watch does continue until midnight tomorrow night. It may get canceled prior to that. In fact, I would bet on that happening, but nonetheless, it is something uh, that we need to be focused on tonight through tomorrow morning at the very least. Now, if we do get a few thunderstorms to develop tomorrow, we might have enough wind energy in place for the possibility of a couple strong storms to pop up. Uh, damaging wind would be the main threat there. Not a huge threat, but something we'll be monitoring tomorrow. We're also monitoring the potential of a few strong to severe storms Saturday in the yellow highlighted area, which does include parts of North Alabama. Uh, after a brief break on Friday, we're back at it with more widespread rain and likely a few thunderstorms on Saturday morning and Saturday afternoon associated with this system. Wet start to the weekend, but we will finally dry out on Sunday. That's also when we'll cool down with highs in the 40s Sunday and Monday, but next week looking very quiet and eventually very comfortable with highs bouncing back to the 60s.